Okay, and that's my legs. Now, you might notice that the legs don't seem to be perfectly aligned, so you might find that the outlining tool is sometimes handy. And you can see with the outlining tool, I have a pink outline. I could choose the layer's properties to change that color, but that just seems to be the color that we have. So I'll do that. I'll go to Properties and pick a different outlining color. And hit OK. So these are the outline colors for this layer. And I'm also going to outline the spine. And with that, I can kind of see where these drawing objects are not lining up. So I can select this one leg. Let me unlock it. I have it locked. And move um, with the arrow keys uh, closer to a perfect positioning. Turn the outlining off. And you can see how the outlining may be helpful to positioning and arranging things. So the outlining column is just so that you can take the vectors and see the actual lines in their positions. Let's do a layer for arms. And sticking with the same line tool, I'll draw a little bit of a shoulder. And then I'll draw, uh, with the shift key down, a bit of an arm and then I'll use the shortcut key the letter V to go to the selection tool and select the arm and the shoulder and I'll copy using my shortcut key for copy and then I'll use my shortcut key for paste and then I'll go to modify transform and flip that horizontally and then I'm going to use the arrow keys with the shift and not to shift to try to position this other arm into place. And again, you might see the arms don't look quite symmetrical, and if that was my goal, they're great, but if it's not, I'll go back to outlining on the arms. And I think I'll outline the spine too. And with the combination of these two, maybe I'll zoom in a little closer, I can select one of these arms and shoulders and just use the arrow keys on my keyboard to come to a perfect fit. And it looks pretty good. And I'll turn the outlining off. And I'll come back to 100% uh, stage size. And you can see I'm slowly much building this. Uh, I should point out to you that the choices down here on the layers do not affect the final production. So even though you have layers locked, hidden, or an outline view, uh, they will still be seen when you go to publish the movie. This is just for the design mode. For example, we have layer, a column here to hide uh, items that are on the stage. And so the next thing I'm going to do is add a layer for a mouth. And zoom in a little closer use the sh uh, space bar and drag this down so you can see it use the line tool I'm going to drop it down to two pixels and I'll draw a uh, mouth down here go to the selection tool with a shortcut letter V and uh, just fool around with it a bit just change it and give me a, a unique look I think I'll add another layer for the nose Sticking with the line tool and a stroke height of 2. I'll draw a little nose here. Go back to the selection tool and uh, bend it out a little bit. So it gives me a nose. And I'll return back to 100% view. So I've got my uh, stick figure. I like to put some hair on this figure, so we'll take advantage of the layering to put the hair on and so I add a layer for hair and the tool I'll use is the pencil tool and I want to use a uh, smooth drawing and I'm going to draw some hair Okay, 
Now I want to do is to fill that hair. So I'm going to go over and grab the fill bucket. And I want black. And there's my hair. Of course, you see the problem. The hair is needs to be cut. And actually, in drawing, I was quite perfect. So I get a little hole in the hair. But let's leave that. It might be an interesting effect. So what I need to do is to put the hair in a position so that it's behind the head. And so if we come down to our layers, if I drag the hair down, see it doesn't do any good below the nose or below the mouth. But if we go all the way down below the head, and we now have the hair behind the head, and I'll just uh, click away, deselect, and you can see we have our hair here. So anyway, that gives you a good idea on how to use the timeline layers and some of their major features, which includes outlining a layer, locking layers, and rearranging layers to get different depths.